Now you should follow suit and just get to the bay. People gon' talk either good or it's bad. Let's see, people gon' talk either good or it's bad. Hey, don't you play North Shore? Go sit down with Ryan. Who's mad? You. I'm, I'm filming something. You're mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I just like you to sit down, please. I'll give you TT phone. You want to watch Zaza? Okay. okay, sorry. My little baby cousin is in the room and he likes to sit with his TT, obviously, because I'm fun. I just gave him my phone so he could be quiet. So, this video is how to deal with a broken heart. Now, I'm going to break this down into five steps. It is the acronym ALPHA. Now, the ALPHA of a tribe of any type of animal it just means first it means the leader it means the person that is dominant you look at a person that's an alpha male or alpha woman they are dominant you have to remember that do not let anybody strip you of your alpha card okay you are an alpha male you're an alpha woman period poo i don't care if you thought you was gonna get married no matter what you remain alpha to the core period anyway that's my pep talk of the day so these five steps i'm gonna break it down into the acronym alpha which is spelled a L P H A. When you're first dealing with a broken heart, the first step is to acknowledge that pain and hurt. You cannot run from it. You cannot hide from it. It's gonna be there regardless. The more you try and avoid that pain, the more you try and hide from it, it's gonna just linger on. Why? Because you're not acknowledging it. You're not facing exactly what's making you feel so heartbroken inside. And the way you deal with that is just confront it head on. If this person broke your heart, you have to just feel it. And there's no other way around it. You gotta go through it. If you gotta sit in your room and cry for a couple days or a week, do that you gotta sit and watch lifetime movies sad love songs it's just another sad love song wrecking my brain hey i got the buckles but whatever you gotta do do that shit and then get it together i ain't trying to hear no more of that crying get it all out sit in the shower sit on the floor cry acknowledge that pain that's important but don't do it too long but definitely acknowledge it the next step l you must let it go you gotta release it once you cried all the tears you can cry ask all the questions what oh my god to send all these long text messages to the person like well i just don't understand why we just he was gonna get married i don't know why i can't just be your baby mama let it go let him go let her go let it go do not hold on to something that no longer serves you and literally when i say let it go be comfortable with the fact that they may never return be comfortable with the fact that this may be the end and it's for the best let that shit go don't sit around thinking about what you could have did better i'm not saying it's gonna be easy but once you let it go and you release it it'll start to help you move forward and heal which brings me to the next point the third step p stands for or pause and reflect. Take a time to just sit with yourself and just kind of think back on the signs that you may have ignored. Think back on what you gained from the relationship. If it has come to an end, it's because it's time for it to be removed from your life and everything does happen for a reason. Think about for next time what signs you can like kind of recognize and know as red flags. For me personally, I talk about this a lot in my videos. Like if you watch my channel, I talk about my past relationship a lot because it was the only relationship that I really for real gave my all to. It was the only relationship consequently that did break my heart i had to think back on you know all the signs that i ignored because there were so many red flags i dated this person on and off roughly for about two two and a half years there were so many signs from honestly from the beginning but i ignored all the signs and i ignored all of the red flags for so long because i wanted it to work i just tried to brush it away and pretend like it wasn't there as a woman you always know even as a man that intuition there's always this inner knowing when something is just not right there's always a warning before things hit the fan it's just inevitable it's whether we choose to acknowledge it or we choose to ignore it or not number four h healing the healing process is literally just all about self-love and self-care it's you taking the time to nurture yourself whatever that may be if you need to take a trip take a trip if you need to take time for yourself and just be single not date not have sex not do any of that do that i didn't date touch anybody for like a year i was literally celibate voluntarily because i just wasn't ready to like get involved with anybody in an intimate manner I wasn't ready to be vulnerable with somebody else I wasn't ready to open up to somebody because I was so closed off because I was hurting and I had to deal with that hurting and a part of the healing process is dealing with that hurt and sometimes healing it may mean that you need to go into seclusion and sometimes it may mean that you need to go out there and start dating again everybody's different but whatever it is that helps you to move forward that helps you to feel better as long as it's not damaging like you know you doing hella cocaine or something like that because that can't help you feel good but that's not the best way to do it all I'm saying is 
and what the healing process you just have to do things that feel good for you that are good for you so you need to just take time to just take care of yourself take care of your mental space get yourself back right i am that okay i can't say it because my little cousin in the room and he repeats everything i say just make sure that you are doing things that are self-loving you know if you're taking yourself to the spa to get a massage or say you just really like going to the beach take more trips to the beach so in order for you to heal yourself you have to take time to take care of yourself all right number five and the final step acceptance you gotta just accept what it is first of all when you get into a relationship you either gonna a get married to that person or b break up there's only two outcomes when the time comes for you to go your separate ways obviously that happens to you if you're watching this video accept that that's what happened it's okay everything that happens even when it's as painful as death nothing happens by mistake everything always happens for a reason so you just gotta accept this as a learning experience the reason that you were with this person was to teach you something it was to help you grow it was to help you you learn when you get to the point of acceptance you can look back on a relationship and look at everything you learned look at everything you've gained and look at things that you lost within yourself when i got to the point of acceptance i realized that i learned so much from him and so much from that relationship it made me stronger and it made me love myself unconditionally to the point where i'm not going to accept anything that i don't feel comfortable with and i will not compromise my feelings nor my integrity for another person ever again there are a lot of things that i just kind of like accepted that i was not cool with that i was not okay with because i just wanted the relationship to work with that person if you're forcing yourself to be okay with or compromise things that you never thought you would compromise and it's uncomfortable for you or it doesn't feel good then that person isn't the one for you because it shouldn't be that way if it costs you your peace is not worth it shout out to tiffany because she taught me that remember alpha you are the alpha woman or male and never let anybody make you feel less than that and that's period the love doctor is signing out if you have any more questions on how to deal with a heartbreak please comment that below i can talk about that all day honey i am the queen of dealing with the heartbreak i'm telling you i was almost engaged okay i was engaged but i almost got married we can talk about it <laughs> until next time see if he's out